Hello, welcome back to the Fish Locker Workshop. I'm going to try and talk you through a rig now that I use. Uh, it's called the Pulley Dropper Rig. Well, I call it the Pulley Dropper Rig. You might know it by another name. This is the rig. This is the rig in its entirety. One of the things that you'll probably notice straight away is it's a clip down rig. There's the clever part and it works on a pulley bead. You can see there, this is, this is the size that I usually use and it's what three feet in total clip down length. I use it for uh, fishing on sandy beaches that are slow sloping. So by that I mean um, they don't go very deep until you get a long way off. So you need a big cast. If you've got a, if you've got a sandy beach that tails off quite quick and you can get, uh, I don't know, you can get decent depth of water inside of 100 yards, I generally don't need to clip down my rigs because I find that um, like a Wessex rig or a two hook rig or a three hook flapper rig with uh, ragworm and lugworm, worm bait, you can cast it to up to 100 yards without damaging the baits too much. As soon as you're knocking them, them baits long distance, they'll end up getting blown out if the bait lasts that long. So when I need to get distance with the worm bait, this is my preferred rig. And uh, the beauty of it is, it's like you can see, it's clipped down. But as soon as it hits the bottom, when it hits the bottom, that hook releases and this relaxes off there. The hook length drops down and ends up below the weight. So you clip down for casting and then as soon as it hits the seabed it's released and you end up with a bait presented on the bottom below the lead. Now the components that you'll need to make this rig are here. To start off with these components, um, I'm going to call them what I know them as. You might know them as something else. To start off with, the rig body, I just use 50 pound mono. Like I say, usually when I'm fishing, I like to have them about three foot in length. I'm going to make this shorter so that I can show you easier on the camera. Three foot lengths this big, so I'm going to make a real small one just to show you. Three foot is about as long as I would make it. You can make them shorter and fish them shorter, but three foot's quite long because you end up with a long hook length. You'll see what I mean. Right, on one end, you just want a normal barrel swivel. On this, I'll just tie a uni knot. I like using uni knots in my rigs. One, two, three, four. I like using uni knots on my rigs because I find it's um, not only do they give like a nice neat knot like that, but they tighten around the line and slide to the eye rather than tightening around the eye. Like say, for instance, a blood knot. A blood knot will tighten around the knot, right around the eye. And sometimes that, that can damage the knot. Whereas if it tightens around the line and slides to the knot, I find it's generally stronger. I'm gonna make this one say, make it two feet. Make two feet so it's easier to see. First thing I'm gonna slide is one of my little squishy beads. Now they are, I don't know what you can see, but they are squishy. The reason for which will become apparent in a moment. Slide on a squishy bead. Then you go into your pulley bead. Now these, that's these. This isn't a sales pitch, I bought them, but these are the type that I use for this rig because I find that they're, they're nice and streamlined. Slide your pulley on. Then you want to slide your I know them as a bent Gemini and all it is is that it's just like it's just 
It's just a Gemini clip, but with the eye 90 degrees out and bent. And all you want for that is you want to slide it straight on and then another squishy bead and then you go into your to your clip. Now the reason you use a clip you could use a swivel like a snap link swivel but then you would need to use a weight with a clip or like an imp. So if you're going to use a weight like that you need a clip whereas if you're going to use like a splashdown or something like that with the clip built in you don't need one of these but because I like to use a round lead so it can roll around a bit I incorporate a clip into the rig another uni knot one two three four There it is, dead simple. And what you want is it should be barrel swivel, squishy bead, pulley, bent Gemini bead, like that. For the hook length, I just use 20 pound mono. You can use fluoro, you can use whatever you want. Uh, if you're gonna fish really light for things like uh, place or flounder or dabs, yeah, 15 pound, mono, 15 pound fluoro, 12 pound fluoro, perfect. All you're gonna want, again, I like to use a uni knot, so one, two, three, four, four turns, slide it down, turn the tag end off. This hook length wants to be just shorter than the rig body you've made. Of course I like to use this on sandy beaches for flatfish, like place, flounder, dabs, uh, turbot, that type of thing. I like, um, I like that type of hook, which as you can see is like a stinger or an Aberdeen or a specimen. All you want is you want a fine wire gauge, a long shank, and a, a sharp point just to present a worm bait well there's no point using like a chino or something like that something like wide gauge and heavy sorry wide gap and heavy gauge because they don't present a worm bait very well whereas long shanked hooks do if you're fishing for things like turbot and use a bigger hook use a one or use a two or jesus they've got huge mouths Use a four on that still swallow it, but if you're gonna use if you're gonna if you're gonna fish for flatfish, it makes sense to go smaller. Because you can catch you can catch big fish on small hooks, but you can't catch small fish on big hooks. That's my logic anyway. There you go, that's that. Right, and all you do. I'm going to clip the lead on here because it's going to make it easier for me to, to show you how to do the rig. If I can get the lead on. Right. What you need to do is you're going to put Put your hook length barrel swivel onto your bent Gemini clip. So that just clips on like that. You are then going to take this bent Gemini and pull the pulley over like that. And the bent the clip on the bent Gemini goes into the barrel swivel. Like that. Your hook then comes down and goes onto your clip like that that's it that's dead simple it's easy to make simple to use uh, but quite clever that's what I like my rigs 
like my rigs simple simple easy to make i mean it took me what two minutes and um, because of its simplicity there's not a lot to go wrong all you do you clip down cast out as soon as it hits the bottom as soon as that hits the bottom that lifts up look releases that slides all the way down and you end up with a hook length on the bottom below the lead the reason for the squishy bead as you can see is if you get anything pulling on here it cushions that and you have one at the top that cushions into the pulley now look with these hook lengths this is another beauty of this rig because you're on a clip with a swivel if say for instance if you've had a dogfish or if a crab's chewed it up or if you've got a fish all you need to do unclip it put it in a bucket and have three or four made up now when i'm fishing like i say when i fish for flatfish like this i like to make up four or five rigs and just have them set up like that now for flatties you can add a bit of bling i mean you can add add spoons and beads and this is this is generally what i like to do just a couple of little fancy beads a rubber stop and some sequins now this works in two ways not only does it add a bit of bling but your sequin acts as a bait stop for your worm so you can slide your worms right up put a couple of three ragworms on there and maybe tip it with a little bit of squid or a piece of prawn or a little slither of mackerel yeah i'll have um, four or five hook lengths made up ready and exactly the same way i'll make up a couple of three of these rigs and have these in the wallet as well so if you get snagged and you lose one just clip one straight on here um, as i said you can make it with a clip on the bottom so you can use a lead without a clip or if you're going to use if you're going to use a lead with a clip like this that's just as good because all you do then Is you just clip your hook down like that that's it uh, <laughs> i don't know what much else to say about that it's uh, i think it's a cracking rig it's a cracking rig for clipping down worm baits for casting for distance and it's the pulley dropper rig 